Now the area we're passing on the left hand side here, single room, including the bedroom. So there is one chimney pot per fireplace. These days, however, London is what we call a smokeless zone. We are no longer allowed to burn. We're at Windsor. You're perfectly okay using your cameras whilst we're outside in the precinct. Up the long difficult to see because it's actually up in this clump of trees so we need to get past them you I can see it now you see up on the slope there right well we're going to leave Rani Mead and we Windsor. We're going to go through a section of Windsor Great Park and on the other side of it there is one excellent view of the old entrance to the castle. Now we are not allowed to stop there but I know Morris will take it as slowly as he can for you but if you'd like to get a photograph if you could have your cameras ready I'll let you know when it's coming up. I'll give you fair warning. It's going to be to the right hand side of the bus. the castle in the far distance to the right over here. This is not the view I'm talking about, but it's just over the tops of the trees there to the right. Originally there was something like 700 acres of parkland surrounding the castle. Now most of it is open to the public and those you see sections here are used for farming. and you'll see this 30 sign coming up very shortly and then you're looking to the right. Just coming right and a truck coming as well. Oops. Ah. Let him go. There we are, to the right. It is the tradition for the royal family to travel in open carriages up the long walk here on the first day of the Royal Ascot races, en route to the course, just as I say, right up at the other end of the walk. Right, well, we're going to go right down into the town now to park the bus. So now I'll, just, I'll get the end. Don't touch me. In my tripod. But but I you're Thank making you me shake. The, the town is lovely. We'll give you seats to sit down. Okay. No touch. No, no. Uh, right. Okay. We're going to walk up beside this new garden here, which was laid out as part of the celebrations for the Queen's Jubilee. You remember when she'd been on the throne for 50 years. Prior to that, it was a car park, so it's a big improvement. <laughs> We're going up through this arch at the top here, turning to the left initially.
was there a movie made? Very probably. Very probably. <laughs> okay. Yes, indeed. Now, let me take your minds back to November 1992. It was the Queen's 45th wedding anniversary, and she was here. And on that morning, a fire broke out in the state apartments. Initially, they thought it was a small, containable fire, nothing to worry too much about. A drape had caught light. It was too close to a spotlight, but there was wood around it. And this fire just blew, and it raged through the morning into the afternoon and into the evening. You could see it for miles around because we're on the top of a hill here. They had fire crews from all the surrounding counties and they finally in the early hours got it under control by which time nine state rooms had been burnt out virtually also adjoining staff quarters 37 and a half million pounds of damage was caused by that fire <laughs> What is it called? The Windsor Castle. Look at it. It's the Windsor Castle collection. See, it's all this plays out in the name of the castle. So what are you buying? Well, I thought I'd buy the, you know, I have a collection. I'd buy the tea cup and salsa. Which, are they all both the same? Yeah, this is the tea cup. This is the glass. This is the teapot. And the sugar. Okay. And this is that Windsor Castle by looking at St. George's Chapel, which is the most magnificent building ever. Okay, it's a shame we couldn't do any photographs of it. We do an interview, unfortunately. Okay. Mum is the word. Mum is the word. There we go. Okay. And thank you kindly. Thank you. I want to get a shot of uh, the chapel from here. Thank you. Nice. Twice, if, if it's right. Twice, if it's right. Oh, it is. It's just like, oh, I think you really, we recognized you. <laughs> Daniel, get close to him. Follow me. 